Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna make another short video around Power Automate and we will see how you can eliminate duplicates. For example, you have like a, like a list of people and you want to notify them. Let's say we have a SharePoint list with a bunch of items assigned to, <clears throat> to a couple of people of your, uh, in your company and maybe uh, you have like five, ten, three, whatever items assigned to the same person and you want to um, go through that list like once a week or once a day and um, and send a notification so that two hours later five but instead of sending like three emails for each item you can you can uh, put those items together eliminate the duplicates and then send one email um, to that um, to that person six and a half hours later anyways long story short eliminate duplicates that's something very useful and powerful to make and um, if, if you um, if you think so as well, give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure to subscribe. But first, let's jump to my PC. So if we, uh, as soon as you see my screen, uh, we are back in that uh, previous video scenario with the agents and uh, the customers filling out forms and so on. And let's let's use this one because I think this is a good example as well. We have here um, an agent who has multiple customers assigned, no? which is uh, in this case also obvious. If we filter, for example, on agent number one, we can see here that um, he has, uh, I don't know how many are those, six uh, customers assigned. And two are completed, one, two are new, and two are pending. Ignore the statuses, it's just for uh, separating them. Um, but in this case, if you want to notify him um, that he has one, two, three, four customers pending and new, um, by using the get items and notify um, actions in Power Automate, he will then receive four emails, which it's a little bit too much, I think. And imagine if he has like 50, huh? and then he will be spammed with emails. So um, a neat way to um, eliminate these duplicates and send him only one email, for example, once a day, uh, would be then to use the um, eliminate duplicates uh, function in Power Automate. So let's take a look how we can do that. So in this case, I will say um, I will I will start an instant cloud flow, but actually it will make more sense to use a scheduled cloud flow, like hmm, once a day, once a week, whatever. But for the purpose of this uh, demonstration, we will go in to use the insert one. So I will call this um, notify agent and manually trigger a flow. So we now need to get the items, of course. Get items, do the get items action, go to that demo site of mine. There it is. A test list and now we want to get only the items that have the status new and pending right because why do you want to uh, notify him for the complete ones so that we can use the filter query and um, here we can put a status EQ uh, new or status EQ status EQ here um, pending if you want to know um, what what conditions you can you can put here in the filter query found this website uh, a long time ago and I think it's it's um, really really good awesome job on this on this blog um, explaining how you can use the filter query uh, different options and um, yeah he also has a YouTube channel make sure to subscribe to him as well and um, I will I will make sure to put the link in the in the description. So back to the flow. I'm using now uh, the filter query status equals new or status equal pending. And um, next step, we want to um, initialize, or maybe we can do it up here. Let's, we can do it in the beginning. Let's initialize a variable. Uh, this will be an array. Let's call it. Um, agents to notify this will be an array and down here i want to um, append the values that will come from the get items action into this array so append to array variable so let's select the array we have initialized and the values 
we want to append the email address. So let's select agent. That's our column. And this will do an apply to each, of course. So let's take a look. Let's save it and test it. Watch. Nope, here. Flow run successfully. So as you can see now, it's fetching 12 items, which is the amount of items that had a status new and or pending. No? We filter on those. You can see they should be 12 items. Yeah, that's right. So it is now appending every item, all those, all those 12 items into my array. And we can see that if we add a next step and then use a compose action and put here the agents notify variable, save it and test it again. We can see now what comes out of this uh, variable or what's inside the variable at the end of the uh, 12 runs. So as you can see here, let's make it bigger. We have these 12 items and we have here one, two, three, four duplicates. So the number one is four times in there. Number two is twice. And I think the rest is uh, distinct. Yeah. Okay. So how we do, how can we eliminate these duplicates? Because if we now put the send a notification and use this array to send the emails, as I told you, number one will get one, two, three, four emails. Number two will get two emails. Send notify them for the same stuff, which doesn't make any sense. So let's go back to edit and remove this from compose. So we have here this union function. If you open the parentheses, you can see here what it's expecting. It's expecting two collections. No, what it does is it just compares those two and then picks up the single, single um, the, the distinct ones from, from each one. So for that, we can go back to the dynamic content, put the agents there, insert a comma for the second collection, which is again agents, because we compare it with, with, uh, with itself, and then select OK. So now, if we test this, save and test, run flow, we should get less items. And as you can see, we have now only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items because we don't have any duplicates. Number two is once, number one is once, and so on. So this way we eliminated all those duplicates. And next, if you go to edit and select next step um, and say um, send a notification. notification. <coughs> we can put here now our outputs our, uh, from the email collection here. The test and then uh, the test. And if we now test it, and we have here sent the email to all the agents, which we, if you want to send a, send a general email uh, to the agents saying that, hey, Guys, uh, you have uh, open uh, and, and, and pending items. You can do that, but you can also send an individual email to to this um, to these agents. But for that, we have to now split our array. And to do so, we have to do here a pass JSON operation. So we'll put the outputs here and here in the schema I have already prepared uh, one that it's pretty simple and we just declare that this is an array, the items inside the type will be string so that we can use those items um, to send uh, in an apply to each to send them the emails. So let's uh, take a look first how that works and what values we get back in this uh, JSON. And we have here in the body, yeah, which is the same actually, you, know, you don't see anything different. But what we can do now is instead of outputs, we can use this item. And if we test it,
it should send seven emails. Still running. Of course, it this takes a little bit more time since uh, it's not one of them. So I don't know why it took five minutes, but um, it, it might be a problem with my network. Um, so anyways, as you can see here, it now uh, sends an email to each of the agents say and you can you can personalize this as well so because we know which one that is and we can put here dear agent number six for example in this case blah blah and then we can also do as something similar where we initialize a variable with the item names no customer one two three four um, we, we can we can put those also in a variable eliminate the duplicates if there are any which uh, in this case will not be because I imagine this will be always uh, new customers and um, yeah put them also in in the body here of the of the email and so that they, the agent knows okay these these items are the ones that are still uh, waiting to be um, yeah to be to be worked on so as you can see, this is a um, pretty neat feature, how to eliminate duplicates and um, pretty useful for not spamming your employees with emails or notifications. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and catch you on the next one. Bye.